Hey guys, in this lesson we're talking about equivalent ratios and are the ratios equivalent? Determine the number that makes the ratios equivalent. Determine whether the word problems show equivalent ratios. All that good stuff. Ready? So first of all, equivalent ratios are ratios that have the same value and when simplified result in the same numerator and denominator. For example, 1, one to 3 and 4 to the 12. And I can call them 1 to 3. I could say 1 third. I can call that 4 twelfths. Remember, ratios can be written with the colon, the word 2, or in fraction form. These would be equivalent ratios. And when I think about it, if I took 1 third and I multiplied the numerator and denominator, or 1 and 3, by 4, 1 times 4 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12. Another one, 2 fifths and 6 fifteenths. The other way to think about it, are they equivalent, is if I take the fraction or the ratio that is not simplified, like 6 to 15, and I divide them both by 3, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 15 divided by 3 is 5. They match up perfectly. And the last example, 20 to 12 and 15 to 9. Now, both of these are not simplified. 20 to 12, well, they're both simplified by 4, right? So if I simplify them both by 4, I would get 5. 12 divided by 4 is 3. And then if I take a look at 15 to 9 and I divide vo both of those by 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So they're both the same ratio. If I wanted to do more practice, 4 to 8 and simplify that, I would divide both of them by 4 and I would get 1 half. 6 to 15, divide them both by 3. Get 2 to 5. 45 to 63, what goes into 45 that also goes into 63? 9, so if I divide them both by 9, I would get 5 to 7. 56 to 28, they're both divisible by 28. So that's actually 2 to 1, which is just 2. 10 to 12, they're both divisible by 2. That would give me 5 to 6. 2 to 10, they're both divisible by 2. That would give me 1 to 5. 72 to 9, both divisible by 9. That would give me 8 to 1, or just 8. And then 64 to 36. They're both divisible by 4, and that would give me 16 to 9. So that's just simplifying, and each one of these is then a pair of equivalent ratios. Next one, are the ratios equivalent? Are, are they equal value? So if I look at this, 4 to 8 and 3 to 6. 4 to 8 is really 1 half. 3 to 6 is also 1 half. So the answer is yes. They both simplify down to the same ratio. 2 sevenths and 14, uh, 4 fourteenths. Well, if I simplify 4 fourteenths by 2, I would get 2 to 7. So that's another yes. 3 to 9 and 4 to 16. Well, 3 to 9 is really 1 to 3, and 4 to 16 is 1 to 4. So that would be no. They don't simplify to the same ratio. So now let's take a look at some more practice. 1 to 9 and 9 to uh, 90. Well, 1 to 9 is simplified. 9 to 90, if I simplify them both by 9s, I would get 1 to 10. So the answer there is no. 14 to 21, 50 to 75. Well, 14 to 21, they're both divisible by 7, right? So if I divide them by 7, I would get 2 to 3. 50 and 75, if I divide them by 25, the greatest common factor, 20, 50 divided by 25 is 2, 75 divided by 25 is 3. So those two are equivalent. They're both two-thirds. One-fifth and three-eighteenths. One-fifth is simplified, but three-eighteenths, that would simplify to one-sixth. So nope, not equivalent. Nine to five and 27 to 15. If I divide 27 and 15 by three, 27 divided by three is nine. 15 divided by three is five. So those are totally equal. 6 to 15 and 40 to 100. If I divide 6 and 15 by 3, I would get 2 fifths, okay, 2 to 5. Now look at 40 and 100. They're both divisible by 20. If I divide 40 by 20, I get 2, and 100 divided by 20 is 5. So that works out beautifully. And the last one, 5 to 6 and 18 to 21. Well, 5, 6 is simplified. 18 and 21 have a common factor of 3. And if I divide them both by 3, I get 6 to 7, which then means that, no, those two are not equivalent. The next skill, determine the number that makes the ratios equivalent. So now this is basically just filling in the blanks. 2 to 4 is equal to what to 12? Well, 2 to 4 is 1 half. What's half of 12? Half of 12 is 
six. And you can think about them that way. Or you could say, hey, how do I go from four to 12? Well, going from four to 12, I multiply by three. So then I would do the same thing with the two. Two times three is six. Here, blank to three is equal to 18 to six. Well, think about it. Three times what is six? Two. So then I have to think what number times two would get me 18? What do you think? If you said nine, you're correct. Now look at this, nine times two is 18, three times two is six. Next one, one to three is equal to seven to what? Well, one times seven is seven, so three times seven is 21. Six to blank equals 18 to 27. Six times what is 18? Three, so what times three would get me 27? Nine, awesome. Here's some more practice. Four to seven equals what to 56? Well, seven times eight is 56. So four times eight is 32. One to five is equal to blank to 25. Well, five times five is 25. So one times five is five. All right, in this one, five times four is 20. What times four gets me 12? Three. Blank to 10 equals one to two. So 10, oh, divided by five will get me two. So what number divided by five will get me to one? Five, and look at that, five to 10 is equal to one to two. They're both one half. Five to 35 equals 10 to blank. Five times two is 10. So 35 times two is 70. 40 to 24 equals five to what? So 40 divided by eight is five. So 24 divided by eight is three. 16 to blank equals 64 to 28. 16 times four is 64. What number times four would get me 28? Seven. And the last one, 56 to blank equals four to three. Well, 56 divided by 14 gets me three. What number divided by 14 would get me three? Excuse me, 56 divided by 14 is four. What number divided by 14 would get me three? Well, three times 14, I could work backwards, right? Three times 14 is 42. All right, 56 divided by 14 is four, and 42 divided by 14 is three. And the last skill, determine whether the word problems show equivalent ratios. Six pretzels to four cookies and 30 pretzels to 25 cookies. Well, pretzel to pretzel would be six to 30. Six to 30 is one to five. Cookies to cookies, four to 25 does not simplify. So six to four is not equal to 30 to 25, or I could set it up as six to 30 is not equal to four to 25. You can really pair them up however you want. Here I was pairing pretzels to cookies equals pretzels to cookies, but you can also match them up with their like term. Next set, eight pencils to six books. So that's eight to six is four to three. 12 books to nine, uh, 12 pencils to nine books, that would end up being also four to three if you divide them both by three. Five dollars for four candies and fifteen dollars for 40 candies. Five to four, is that equal to 15 for 40? Well, five times three is 15, but is four times three 40? No, it's not equal. 28 balloons to 40 candles and 16 balloons to 24 candles. Well, 28 to 40, if I divide those by four, I would get seven to 10. 16 to 24, I could divide those by eight and I get two to three. So no, not equal. Last one, 56 to 44 cats and 42 dogs to 33 cats. For 56 to 44, well, let's see, they're both divisible by four. And if I divide those by both by four, I would get 14 to 11. 42 dogs to 33 cats, if I divide those by three, 42 divided by three is 14, and 33 divided by three is 11. So those are both 14 to 11, and they are definitely equivalent. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.